Good day, Pompano Nation. I'm on another Pompano mission. It's pretty, it's pretty chilly out here, but you gotta go Pompano fishing when the Pompano are there. So here we go. Wish me luck. Woo. Oh, the waves have picked up a lot today. Mike is down in my spot, so I'm gonna go down in his spot that he's usually at. See what I can do down there. Back to the lucky spot. Okay, kids, I saw how Joey Antonelli on YouTube does his sand flea rigs. He puts a little hot glue on the float next to the hook so it stays there. So I did that with these rigs and I put a 40 pound leader on these so I can support this five weight. We got a strong wind coming out of the north. So the swell is going that way. Trying to get pole number three out here past this little sandbar without getting too wet. are turning purple. The worst part about this 50 degree weather is I can't put a full suit on yet because I'm still healing my leg. So I'm stuck to wearing a spring suit. Uh, it's too cold out here for this. 
we're gonna have to come back when it's warmer. There's Mike down there, casting out. Well, you can't catch them every time. Hopefully tomorrow. It's supposed to warm up a little bit. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Actually, let's just continue this one till the next day. See you tomorrow. Good day, America. I am back on another Pompano mission. Going out to see what I can get before dark. Wish me luck. Whoa. Waves are way bigger than yesterday. It's gonna be tough with the fives. How you doing? My other neighbor over there. Looks like he's got three poles now. Ed. out of the south but the swell is out of the north so hopefully it'll just balance it out First fish on. It's still on there. It's either a small whiting or it got off. Ah, oh, there's nothing on there. Definitely had a hit though. Oh, there's something on there. Catfish, small whiting. Yep, small whiting. Let's let this guy go. Get you back out there. Ah, sorry. I didn't tell you like that, boy. Got a huge hit down here. It's still on. Oh yeah, he's still on there. Oh yeah, Papano. Woo! Feels like a Papano. We'll see in a second. Big one if it is. Oh my gosh, it's a oh, it's the biggest pop I've ever caught. Yes. Yes. Look at the size of this thing. Woo! Compared to my foot. Oh my gosh, he's a beast. Yes, look at this thing. Oh, it's a beauty. Oh. Definitely one of the biggest pump I've ever caught. It's one of my records right here. 
the size of that thing. Okay, here we go. This time I got him. Oh yeah, Papa No number two. I saw that first hit and I tried to check, check the tension and the weight pulled out, but then it reset. So looks like he came back and hit it again. Swimming right towards my other line. Oh, he's a beast. Oh, I feel some big head shakes. Might be a bigger than the last one. Oh my gosh, come on, let's get them in. Some big ones out here tonight. It's worth fishing the last couple of days and not catching any. Oh yeah, he's a beast. He's a beast. I uh, know, this is number two. Thanks. <laughs> Another beast. Woo. Okay, so those last two Pompano I got really close to shore. Pretty much right here. Cast out. Right into that little slough area. Right before the waves are breaking. Huge hit on this one. Leave it out there, see if I get another hit. Oh yeah, he's on. Same thing that happened last time. I got one hit and then put the pole back and then he came back and hit it again. I think it's a small whiting now. Maybe it's pumping him. No. It's a nice whiting. Oh yeah, Pompano. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. This is where I got that last big one. Oh, he's coming straight towards me. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he's a beast.
Oh no. I think he just came off right there. Did he? Ah, dang. That was a nice one. Came unhooked. Passed it right out there and got one right. I was like, as soon as it hit. Come on now, let's land this one. Oh no! Are you kidding me? No way, I lost the second one in a row. Oh, wait, no. He just caught a wave. I think. Oh yeah, he's right here. Oh my gosh. It's a big comp now. Yes, it's not that big, but that's what happens. Sometimes the fish catches the wave and it feels like he gets off. But uh, this time it didn't get off, luckily. So the fish are all in the surf right now. Really close. I really appreciate that. Yeah, man, I told you I'd give you one if I got an extra one. So oh, man, he's a awesome. beauty. And uh, basically the meat goes all the way up. You can start filleting them right here. Okay. They just take, you know, as close as you can and then flip them over and then go right here and then to there. Or you can just gut them and fry the whole thing and then skin it later. But they are easy to skin too. Excellent. You got a nice fillet knife, it's really easy, but yeah, Thank enjoy you. it. Thank you so <laughs> You're welcome. Much. Yep. Happy New Year. <laughs> oh, he got off. Did he? Dang. Wow, they keep getting off on this one. figure out why this hook keeps coming on. Hopping are getting lucky I guess. This one measures 17, 17 and a half to the tip of the tail, 14 and a half to the fork. Look at all the meat on this one. This is a fat one. Whew. Thanks again for watching, everybody. We'll see you on the next adventure. Stay psyched. Thanks for your continued support. Please click like and subscribe below.